How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome yourselves back to another review on the channel. Today, Danny Carvajal. Now, Danny Carvajal, you've seen him in the votes. He was always going to win because of the voting system. Uh, Manalas, 83. Carvajal, 86. Permanent cards. Hey, sticking in SPC. 86 was always going to win. That was Danny Carvajal. And it is a left midfield version. They needed to upgrade his skill moves and his weak foot and his stats tremendously. And I believe they definitely have done that. Now, is he a left midfielder? I'm not too certain about that. Of course, he is right footed, but four star weak forwards can definitely play that position. In my personal opinion, looking at the card, I thought he would be a phenomenal box to box midfielder, and that is where we're going to play in the day. Lads, if you do enjoy this review, you know what to do. You bring that type, you smash that like, you subscribe to the channel in July, because it, that's that's what month it is. It's, it's July. Um, yeah, game's dead and all that stuff. Lads, basically, if you do want to see more future content from myself, reviews of a content RTG, 22 is going to be hype. Actually working behind the scenes on a lot of different things, including, like, animated stuff. Animated stuff with Daily Render. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. And, guys, make sure you subscribe for all the goodness that is coming your way in the future days, weeks, and months. And years. I think I can say years. But lads, hope you're having a great day today. It's actually heat wave in England right now. Uh, yeah, a heat wave. It's like 31 degrees today. So um, I'm currently melting. Nice, nice, very nice. I'm sitting down a computer on a, the hottest day of the year, undoubtedly as well. So um, yeah, lads, I hope you do enjoy this review. It is Danny Carbhal. I knocked him this morning, reviewed him the day, had a look what he was good at. High, high work rates, five foot eight, and a four star skill with sets. And the weak foot. Now, in terms of your tributes, you can see them on your screen right now. Those are amazing. Why are they amazing? Because they're so well-rounded, lads. You look at these stats, you think, hey, he's got the shooting in certain aspects, especially the shot power finishing, attack and positioning, etc. He's definitely got the pace about him. He's dribbling his bonkers for a Danny Carvajal card. Because with Danny Carvajal, you don't really associate, uh, especially a right-back anyway, so dribbling stats of those. I mean, he's got 299s in there, reactions, ball control. He's also got, with a basic cam style, which I would recommend for this card, uh, 99 agility and 98 dribble and 97 composure. He's also got 96 balance as well, so for dribbling, that is unbelievable for Danny Carvajal and something you definitely do not uh, associate with the Real Madrid man. So he's got 86 acceleration and 97 sprint speed. Does that need a boost for the position I was playing him in, box to box, as a left midfielder, left centre midfielder in a 4-3-1-2. I think that's the position uh, I played him in today. Yeah, yeah, it definitely was a formation, yeah, because uh, St. Max was up front alongside Thierry Henry. Well, that is good enough. Hell, that's even good enough for like... Left midfield, left back, right back, wherever you do want to play uh, Danny Carvalho. Even CDM if you want to play him there, because he does have the defensive stats. Uh, in terms of attacking stats, he's got 99 attacking positioning, if I can say that. 92 finishing, 99 shot power, 85 long shots, 88 volleys, and 82 pens. It's neither here nor there. By the way, I included a few, a few free kicks, easy for me to see, in the gameplay. To showcase how terrible they are. They're not very accurate, they're all 60. Um... That's the only stat that could be done with improving. Passing is good, especially for a winger or a box to box midfielder. He's got vision 88, cross 99, short pass 99, with curve 91, and long pass of 88. Dribbling, I've been through that sensational. Defending. He's got all the right ones. Yes, it could be a lot, lot better, but it is sufficient enough for the position that he's in. And of course, the physicality. 97 stamina, very, very important. And so is that 91 aggression. As you can see by the traits. I mean, he needs to start working on Summit in the training ground because he's got zip, nada, zilch, nothing, zero. Uh, what, what's French for zero? Zero? It might be zero. Um, is that it? Nothing. I think I said nothing. But guys, he's got a zero traits. He could do with a lot better traits. Hey, is what it is. What we're going to do now is jump in the gameplay. Let's see how he is at that box-to-box -box position because, honestly, personally, I think that's his best position. Lads, let's get into the gameplay. So here we go then, lads, in to the gameplay. Now, I did say I'd share a few free kicks because of how lack of accuracy it has. It is only 60, and I thought, you know what? With, with some of these stats, maybe the power and stuff like that, it'll take it in the back of the net. The thing is, he's reticle when you do press shoot or something like that. With players with high free kicks, you can just tap it and it goes in top bins every single time. With Carvajal, the reticle goes whoosh, you know what I'm saying? So it goes massive very quick and uh, you just don't get the accuracy. But you do see him score a goal in the backgrounds and uh, do what he does best. You know what he does best for me? He's got all these stats, but the thing that he does best 
is the given goods, the one twos. It's just so really like effective with Danny Carvajal. You see him do a one two, get in the box, finish with his left peg. It's so simple to do uh, because he's got the pace to uh, accelerate back onto the ball and he's got the agility to uh, quickly kind of set himself off in terms of getting the goal. This is Shakiri on the ball. Shakiri is actually going to spread out wide to Danny Carvajal. Carvajal, uh, this is great dribbling by Danny Carvajal. Do a fake shot inside uh, right there, take him out of the way and that's left foot finish yet again. So if you're worrying about him being right footed on the left hand sides, don't be. Full style weak foot is good enough. You see him two finishes there, both on his weak foot, the left foot, and uh, it's a fantastic finish each time. Now you could say it's his finishing 92, it could be his shot power 99, it could even be his composure thrown in there 97, uh, but I just think he gets into the right places at the right angles. I do take the pen. Uh, 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 what happened there? The ball went so high, I, I, I don't know what happened. And the keeper guessed the right way. And I swear it went through the keeper's hands. But uh, hey, penalties is just a lottery at the end of the day. 82 pence is what it is. Keep it dived the right way. He should have saved it, to be honest. Uh, but here's Danny Carvajal bursting forward. He goes to the 1-2 again, which I believe is the best thing about this card. The 1-2s are unbelievable. I play it back out wide. I'd see it with Danny Carvajal. He skips past his man fairly easily there and whips in across. Very accurate cross back to St. Max. But uh, the keeper was there to, to kind of get the ball. This one, we can't attack from deep. And I think this is uh, going to showcase his playmaking. I believe so anyways. Actually, I believe I score from this. He actually comes up and supports the attack. Uh, yeah, this is the one. Uh, Shakiri on the ball. I take it around the keeper. Hey, that's a ludicrous clearance off the line. But it is what it is. We receive the ball back with Danny Carvajal because of his high, high work rates. So if um, someone's going to attack or anything like that, he's back. He's getting himself in position. He's putting his all in to uh, defend the counter-attack. But he also puts his all in to uh, getting forward and supporting the attack as well as he does. Uh, take advantage of the rebound there by Thierry Henry who shot it straight at the goalkeeper. So just going to run for his pros. First one, pace. Love that about the card. He is very, very quick. Now, he isn't superbly quick. What do I mean by that? Um, I love to see his body type, lads. I'll just uh, try and grab it up right now. Because he doesn't feel... Suits. He's got a unique body type. Unique. Basically, he feels quite stocky at times. And this, this doesn't help his agility, obviously. But... Um, Maybe he's got a uniquely stocky body type. <laughs> Who knows? But uh, he does feel quite stocky in game. And uh, long shots, it's not his fault. Yeah. So that's the only con I've got for him. Cons, long shots. I didn't really enjoy them. Especially if he's got like 91 curve and stuff like that. He wasn't generating enough curve for the finesses. But uh, yeah, I just love this about him. Getting in the box. Nice little one-twos. They're giving goos and the tap into the back of the net. Love that about Danny Carvajal. Because it is a very quick in terms of like a transition from a pass to basically getting behind the defence and scoring his chances. So Finishing wise, very good. Shop house, sensational. Uh, movement, high, high work rates. I spoke about how it, it impacts you defensively and it impacts you going forward because you're involved in all kind of scenarios of the play from counter attacks to defending to attacking. Uh, you're involved in everything, even the transition player as well. So I do really like that about the card. We've got the ball control in there, it's 99, speaks for itself, a very uh, much in control at all times. But like I did say, he does seem stocky on the odd occasion, he does get assist there for Saint Maximin. Aggression. Now, in this review, you wouldn't see too, too many tackles because I couldn't really find too many in the gameplay. What I did notice was he's aggressively closing down the players as we do blow out the screen there in the background. He aggressively closes down the players, which forces them into errors. Love the aggression on this guard. And also the aggression into getting into the challenges. Yes, tackling, it isn't the greatest stat of this guy. I think it's actually his lowest... Um, it is. He's lost stat in, in terms of face cards. That's his 84. So it is what it is when it does come to that. But his aggression in terms of closing down is very, very good. And overall, I've got all rounder there. What does that mean? Basically, you can do it all on this game. Apart from free kicks, he sucks at that. And long shots. But uh, apart from that, he's a great box to box. And uh, a very versatile player. I would say you can play him in numerous positions. And that's what I've got for the similar players today. I reckon you can play these in mu numerous positions as well. We have Marcus Alonso. Marcus Alonso, I did well. He's a left midfielder. He's got three star, three star uh, on the left hand side. But I reckon you could play him box to box. You could play him CDM and stuff like that. Same goes for the Spanish uh, Real Madrid player. Basically a perfect link. Uh, Lucas Vasquez. But of course, Vasquez is on the right. Carvajal's on the left. One of them will be have to be on seven chemistry. I've got Jorginho in there as well. Now, the reason I've got Jorginho in there is because Jorginho is a box to box with excellent ball control and sensational passing. And I believe Carvajal has excellent ball control and sensational passing. That is that. So the overall rating, I will give this Danny Carvajal, is a 9.2. I reckon he's great all-rounder. Fantastic, versatile, utility player. I just feel like he's not the finished product. And I think his body type goes against him sometimes. Uh, he doesn't feel too, too agile, despite 94 agility. And with basic, goes to 99 agility. 
I, I don't know what his body type is. Now it says unique, but is that a stocky unique? Like what kind of unique is it? It just feels like he is a stocky player in this game. Uh, and that's why I went and checked. I thought he had a stocky body type. Uh, value for coins 9.4. I reckon 200k is not that bad for the cards. Uh, and uh, 220k on the Xbox. So it's not that bad. At the same time, if you want to... Uh, I think Vasquez, we've got him down below, for example, he's about 80 to 90,000 coins right now. Uh, so if you're looking for a perfect link from Real Madrid and you want to kind of go on the cheap side, Vasquez is your man. But if you want a better version, yes, I think he's better than Vasquez, Carvajal definitely is your purchase. And in terms of enjoyment a rating, 9.0, uh, he does everything well, but he's not one of those players that enhances your enjoyment in the game. He's one of those effective players, those players with ability. He does uh, the dirty work, so to speak. He gets involved, he gets tackles in, he gets passes in. He's basically, he's the guy behind the scenes to your flareful players. That is what I would say Carvajal is. Basically, he goes unnoticed for large stretches of the game, but he is definitely doing like the quiet things, getting a ball in, doing the one twos, stuff like that. That's basically what I say. Enjoyment, he brings a level of enjoyment, but I don't think he's he brings like ultimate enjoyment or anything like that. So that's just gonna be the review for Danny Carvajal. I will work on getting Savini here. Uh, done the deal, I'll start unlocking him today. But like I did see, hey, I don't know if you can see out the window when I go square cam. It is gorgeous today, absolutely gorgeous. Water wall sunshine and uh, temperatures. In this office is probably like 40 degrees right now. It feels that with, you've got to take into consideration. I've got to close the windows when I do commentaries and uh, videos and stuff. I have monitors on. I've got lights on, I've got a camera on, I've got a PC on, I've got consoles on. It gets hot, man. It gets bloody warm in this office. But hey, hope you have a great day. If you're out and about, enjoy the day. It's a fantastic day in the UK. Hope it's good everywhere around the world. I've seen some storms in, like, Belgium. Um, I've seen tornadoes in, like, Canada. It's, the world's crazy in terms of weather. But I hope you guys are safe, hope you guys are well, and hope you guys do enjoy the day. Hey, if you have enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.